Hey, good evening, guys. Hello, guys and girls. Can you hear me? Hey, teacher, with me. Hello. There you go. Can Can everybody hear me? I do. Yes. Yes, we can hear All you. All right. Okay, guys. Good to see you guys. How are you? How's uh, How's your day going so far? So far, is it good? Yes. Yes. Well, it, we just finish doing all, all the domestic things in the yes. house. <laughs> no, I, 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 I think I'll have to, um, I'll have to do that. You know, after after the class, because I woke up really early today, really, really early, and then I had to go to work, and then I came back here. I had to take a class, and now I have to deliver a class. I'm no, really, no. really tired, so. <laughs> Yes. So yeah, but uh, you know it's all good, right? Yeah. Thank you for your time. No, no, no. You don't need to thank me. They're they're paying. Me. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, right? But uh, no, thanks to you for being early here, guys. Um, it's good to see you guys, guys. Um, before we move on, guys, there is something that I'd like to uh, tell you about, which is um, the. Um, the platform okay so some of you were asking me about some of the some of the exercises okay um and that is great i really like that uh just i forgot something yesterday right so i forgot to tell you something yesterday um we are going to solve all the exercises during the class okay all right so everybody can see the answers okay so that's why i needed to work before because we're gonna go over the answers okay so i will always help you all right but i rather help everybody everybody at the same time than just one person right it, it makes it way easier for everybody all right um so yeah it's it's so i needed to work you know in the platform before we even get there okay but but don't worry i mean at the end of the day we're gonna we're gonna see all the exercises okay to make sure that um that you have them correct Okay, sounds good. All right. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, so we see, I see eleven people now. Let's get started. Okay, so um, today, guys, we're gonna go over the first part of the well today's lesson. We're gonna talk about relative clauses, what they are, you know. So that's you know that's what we're gonna be going over. That's what we're gonna be doing today. Okay. All right, so uh, by the end, I, I, you will be able to understand what relative clauses are and how you know they join two ideas or they merge two ideas into one. So that's that's basically what the purpose of relative clauses are. Okay, so we're gonna go over you know the the the, um, the meaning of a clause. You know what relative pronouns are. What relative clauses are and we're going to have some practice at the end so let's pay attention guys have fun and let's get started okay now um before we get started guys okay let me ask you something which adjective best describes you we're going to get some vocabulary out of the way first okay are you egotistical repeat guys egotistical ego ego right egotistical Egotistical. egotistical. All right. Someone egotistical is. Who is someone egotistical in your life, guys? Egoista. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for the translation. No, but I mean, I mean, uh, who is someone who is someone egotistical in your life, right? But now we know, right, that it means um, egoista, right? That is correct. Okay. Someone stingy. Okay. Uh, let's see, Arabella. Who is someone stingy in your life? Stingy. Someone stingy. Stingy guys is someone. All right. So if you don't know, someone stingy is someone who who is very cheap. You know, someone who doesn't like to pay for things because oh. they they're all they're they're very expensive all the time. You got it. Is what we call, you know, elbow. <laughs> yes. 
Okay, but you know, the word elbow does not mean that in English. Okay, so don't say, oh, you're so elbow. No, no, that's not the meaning. Okay, all right. So, all right, so that's someone stingy. So, I was asking you, um, Arabella, uh, who do you consider to be someone stingy in your life? Uh, yeah. Maybe no. Uh, I I am sociable. The question is, <coughs> what think about the sociable? No, no, no. I, I was asking you, like, who is someone you consider stingy in your life? Um. Who, like this, okay? I'm asking you this, okay? Who, who is someone you might consider to be stingy? All right. Okay. Who is someone you might consider to be stingy? My husband. Your husband. Okay, Rick. Okay, nice answer. Nice. Why? Why? The boss. <laughs> My husband is very stingy. All right, you can say my husband is very stingy, right? Right, which means, right? What does it mean, guys? Okay. We... okay, so it means, right? I'm gonna yeah. do a presentation of, okay. So it means, right, someone? Okay. <laughs> oh, cool. All right, very good, right? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine people seeing the watching this video guys of the class from other countries and they're like what elbow <laughs> you know what are, what are they talking about right so anyways okay so that's someone that's someone yeah. stingy okay all right very good so let's move on okay sociable right someone sociable i mean this this, this word is written in the same way in spanish right it's just pronounced differently so who's who's someone social so, uh, sociable guys who's someone Sociable. Do you consider yourself to be sociable? Um, yeah, maybe. Of course. Someone who likes parties, maybe? Sometimes. Do you, do you think that I'm sociable? Am I sociable? Um, you look sociable. I look sociable. As, yes. A sadless person is sociable. Uh, what type of person is sociable? I'm sorry. Sales person. Sales person. Sales person. Uh, 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 a tall person is sociable? Is that what you're saying? Oh, oh. Tail person, a uh, vendedor. Singer. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So you mean a retail? A sales yeah. a salesman? Sales <laughs> All right. You were saying sales person, right? You were saying a salesperson, right? Excuse my handwriting, but I'm using the mouse, okay? I'm not using uh, a pen. But my 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 handwriting is actually worse with a pen. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, guys. All right, very good. Easy going, right? So what's easy going? Easy going. Easy going is like a, a flexible person, adapt, uh, adapt an older person. Okay, okay. person is well, like... <laughs> Okay, an easygoing person, guys, it has a lot to do with being sociable, okay? Easygoing is like, it's easy to talk to that person, you know, it's sociable, you know, it's it's basically an adjective for sociable, all right? Temperamental. It's the opposite, it's the opposite uh, the, uh, grumpy. <laughs> it's the opposite of being grumpy, yes. Okay, Jennifer says, that's me, yes. <laughs> Ooh, sociable or easygoing or? Temperamental. Uh, it doesn't say of child. Easy going. Easy, easy going. going. And I just had learned to be sociable because I'm a cell girl. So I need oh. to be a sociable. Okay. Okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. So, yes, guys. Okay. So, that would be someone who is easy going. Okay. And then we have being temperamental. All right. Temperamental, guys. You can say temperamental or you can say temperamental. Repeat guys, tem. 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 Ra. 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 Mental. 
Yeah. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a link, guys, which you can use. Are you, are you seeing the presentation? Or are you seeing my whole screen? I don't want you to see my whole screen. <laughs> are you seeing my presentation or the whole screen? Yes, the presentation, the vocabulary. Okay, right. that's good. That's good. Okay, All right. Anyways, so I, I do want to show you this website, um, real quick. Okay, now if you want to learn pronunciation this is this is going to be very helpful thank you okay um because Hola, all right because we have this okay so this right here whatever you see within those slashes all right let's go over the american pronunciation here well we're going to use this one because this one is the format that you're looking for right so whatever you see within these slashes guys is the pronunciation <laughs> okay these are called phonemes Right. This this is basically how we print the, the the representation of sounds in any language. Okay. So we can see here get that guys that the the pronunciation is tam. Right. We have an epsilon, tam, and then we have a schwa sound, tempa, tempa. right, temper, and tempa. then temperament, men, tempa. no, temperamental. Tempa. See, this is not temperamental. It's temperamental. No. See, no. This right here, right. Temperamental. So, all right, so you can use them for, you can use them for other words. The other word that we have here is called unreliable. Unreliable, sorry. So like this, I'm sorry, we're missing one letter there, right? So see, the pronunciation goes like un, repeat un. Un. Um, re. 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 Lie. 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 Uh, 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 Oh, right. Unre unreliable. 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 Very good, unreliable. guys. Very good, guys and girls. Okay. Good job, guys. Okay. Unreliable. All right. So someone un unreliable, guys. Who is okay? So hold on. Who's someone temperamental? Someone that temperamental, guys, is the same as in Spanish, right? Someone who gets like angry easily, right? Are you temperamental? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. You're very honest. I like that. Okay. Being honest is good. Right. Okay. Very good. Unreliable. Are you unreliable? Unreliable. Unreliable. Sometimes too. No. Someone. All right. Unreliable guys is someone. Okay. Like this. Okay. Um. Someone. You can't trust. Okay. <clears throat> someone you can't trust. That is someone unreliable mm -hmm. because you not reliable. It's like this person. Uh, when talk <coughs> is live. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Always. Like, not 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 necessarily lying, but but someone you cannot trust. Okay, someone like you cannot rely on that person. You cannot trust that person. Okay. Ah, okay. All right. That that's it. Okay. So for example, I don't know, guys. Oh. I'll the politics exactly i was thinking about the same thing right so politicians repeat politicians politicians right <laughs> are unreliable right politicians are unreliable politicians okay? see because they you cannot can you trust them no right no <laughs> i don't know any politician that you can trust guys right i, I mean there there are like better you know politicians than others but i cannot trust fully one of them you know all right so anyways that's the vocabulary for uh, that we're going to be using today do you have any questions regarding the vocabulary no no that's it all right great that's the end of the class now i'm kidding guys. we're gonna continue right we're gonna we're gonna continue don't worry all right so let's talk about first of all we have to know what a clause is okay all right a clause is very easy to understand um let's help i need someone to help me read this part right here because i cannot read guys you know <laughs> can somebody please help me read a clause a group of words containing a subject and predicate and functioning as a member of a complex <coughs> or compound sentence very good good job thank you very much you okay so i want you to remember this a clause is a group of words, okay? Let me ask you this, guys, okay? So if I say, 
I am a very ugly man. All right. <laughs> is this is this a clause? Yes or no? Because it's a group of words. Containing a subject and predicate. Very good. Okay. Ah, see, subject. Right. Okay, so guys, okay, so this is a group of words, right? Yes. Group mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. words. Okay. All right. So so far we, you know, we have the first. We actually hit the first uh, condition, right? Being a group of words. Okay. All right. Very good. Mm, is this a group of words? Um, because 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 I say so. All right. Is this a group of words? Yes or no? Uh, I guess not. Yes. yes. It, it is a group of words, okay? So it is a group of words, okay? So yes, it is a group of words, all right? So what is the difference between them both? Oops, oops sorry, 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 sorry. All right, so what is the difference? Oh, no, there you go. <laughs> all right, so what would be the difference between them both? All right, yeah. now containing a subject and a predicate. Mm -hmm. Now this predicate, guys, let's change it to, okay, verb, okay? It needs to contain a verb too, okay? Okay. All right, a verb and the the rest of uh, predicate. the complement, okay? So now, now, so we have the first rule here, guys. It is a group of words, number one, right? Now, do we have a subject and a verb in this example? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, yes okay. And we have a whole complement, right? So do you think that this is a clause? Yes. Yes, okay. It's yes, a, it is a clause, okay. It's a clause. All right. Yes. Now, because I say so, is this a clause? No, because do not have a verb. No. I see a subject. I, 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 I guess, see a yes. verb. I subject. Yes, okay. Verb. It is. Yes. It is, okay, but mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense, okay? It doesn't make sense, right? Because mm -hmm. if it makes sense, guys, okay, if something makes sense, okay, this is a uh, independent clause, okay? All right? Why? Because, you know, this sentence, guys, does not need of anybody, you know? Right? You know, it's not needy, right? Like, like we were with our ex- couples right it's not needy right it's we're independent right now this one right here mm -hmm. if we say because i say so <laughs> because i say so all right this one is dependent why because uh for this to make sense for this to make sense we need more information right we would say oh you know what um, I am a very ugly man because I say so. So these guys needs, okay, needs, sorry. So this needs this to make sense, got it? Because it needs it, it, it turns it into a dependent clause, right? We're not gonna go deeper into dependent clauses, guys, but do we all understand, guys? We should all understand from this slide, guys, we should all understand what a clause is. So do we understand guys what a clause is now? Yes. Yes. All right, are you sure? Yeah. Do you wanna have a quiz now? Let's have a quick question. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice attitude, right? So anyways, all right, so, um, so I wanna tell you something, okay? What about this? What if I said, um, uh, I, I like to eat, burgers every day because I love getting big. I love getting bigger every day. Okay. All right. So all right. So let me ask you something. Right? How many how many sentences do we have here? 
Two. Two. We only have one, okay? Because one? Will, yes, we have. Yes. All right. It'll yes. be determined, guys, by the period at the end, okay? Mm -hmm. We only have one. However, how many clauses do we have? Me too. Clauses. Very good. I like to eat burgers every day, right? This is number one. And because I love getting bigger every day, right? This is number two. Okay. So this one is, which one is dependent? Dependent because I love getting bigger every day. Very good. Okay. So yeah. this one is dependent, right? All right? It says dependent there, guys. Okay. Excuse my hand. Right? <laughs> All right. And this one right here, right? It's independent. Pen, whatever, right? Independent. Okay. Very good, guys. Okay. Good job. So that's all we need to know about classes. Okay. So, okay. for example, we have, right? I graduated last year, right? We have how many, how many classes do we have here? One. We only have one, right? When I came here, I saw him. How many classes do we have here? Two. We have two, right? Two. And how many sentences do we have? One. Or we only have two. one sentence, right? Or one one sentence. sentence separated <laughs> by the period, right? And we have two clauses, okay? Mm -hmm. So over here, right? How many? Three. Okay, we have three what? Three sentences? Three clauses. Three, three clauses. clauses, okay? We have three clauses. And how many sentences do we have? Just one. one. We only have one. one, okay? Good job. Good job, guys. You guys are going to be my teachers, you know? You guys are pretty good. <laughs> All right, so any question so far, guys? All right, very good. So let's continue, right? So we were talking about independent clauses. Okay, so the meaning of uh, independent clause, guys, it's that it functions on its own. This right here, remember this part right here, okay? It functions on its own, okay? Funciona bajo su, propio, bajo su propia responsabilidad. Okay, so that's what it is. All right. Now, uh, for example, in a, in a sentence, guys, where we have two independent clauses, two independent clauses, they're usually going to be connected by coordinators. And coordinators are, and but so nor for yet. Okay, something, guys, which can have the acronym FANBOYS. Okay, FANBOYS. <laughs> and right because the f stands for four, four right the a stands for l and right and for nor b for but, but o for or or y for yet, yet the left. and s for so. so right anyways all right so if you see guys mm -hmm clauses, you know, separated by commas, you know, and coordinators, right? Those are usually going to be independent clauses, okay? That tells you that that would be an independent clause, all right? So far, so good? Yes. All right, very good, guys, very good, okay? All right, so moving on, what's an example of an independent clause? So an example would be He's a wise man, okay? So he's a wise man, right? Do we have, uh, wh why, is it, why is it a clause? First of all, why is it a clause? No, see, no, why? see, yeah. it is. Contains uh, subject and predicate, right. predicate. All right, so it contains, right. it contains a subject in a predicate, and the predicate contains the verb, right? So the yes. subject, the verb, and the predicate together, very good. I like him, is this a clause? Yes. Yes. Can, can you do it in the form of a question? Is this a clause? Yes. Yes, yes. it is a clause, right? Do it, please. Okay, do it, please. Okay, is this a clause? Yes. Yes, right? Now. The subject is hidden. Hidden, right? The subject is hidden. Right. It is, it, is, okay. it, is a, it is a clause, guys. It is a clause. It's called an imperative. An imperative is a command. Okay. So this is called an imperative. Okay, imperative. All right. Which is a command. Like when your when your mom used to tell you or still tells you, I don't know. Hey, wash the dishes, right? Right. Mm -hmm. That is a command, right? They don't mm -hmm. ask you, 
could you please, son, wash the dishes? In order. <laughs> is, that, is that how your mom used to talk to you? <laughs> that would be great, right? But they, but no. I mean, they're <laughs> they're lovely, but but no, they don't. They, I don't. I don't think that they would say please. All right, but anyways, okay. So here, guys, we still have the subject. Okay, so you do it, please. Okay, it's just that this is hidden. Okay, <laughs> that is hidden. I read the whole story. Is this a clause? Yes. Yes. yes it is a clause, right? I want to buy a phone, but I don't have enough money. How many clauses do we have here? Two. Two. All right. Why are they independent? Because it says that they're independent here. Why are they independent? Because both have sense. Okay, because yeah. both make sense on, on their own. Why else? Because they are connected by a coordinator. Very good. Okay, because you can tell they're connected by a coordinator. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job, right? Really good job. And applause, guys. Very good. Applause for you guys, right? Very good. Okay, you deserve it. All right, awesome. David, okay, tell me. Can you go back just a moment in the last, mm -hmm. the, the other one, just to copy the yes. coordinators? Yes. Oh, the coordinators? Yes. Uh, the, 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 this one? Yes. Thank right. you. So, all right. All right. Did anybody else have a question? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Very good. Okay. So. All right. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. So I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna mute you guys. All right. Anyways, so we also have guys. Okay. Um, dependent clauses, okay, and then a dependent clause, as it says here, cannot function on its own. Why? Because it leaves an idea or a thought unfinished. Okay, so <laughs> usually a dependent clause, guys, will be introduced by subordinators. And what are subordinators? Subordinators mm -hmm. are words such as because. Okay, we're gonna see more about that. But just remember, guys, if it does not function on its own, if it if the idea doesn't make sense on on its own, it is a dependent clause. Okay, that is basically the gist of it. So here. So where do you see the dependent? That well, hold on. First of all. How many clauses do we have? Two clauses. We have two. Which one? Which ones are they? When I was Wait. dating Diana, the first I had an ex. The second. All right. So when I was right dating Diana, it says Dinah, but whatever. Dinah. Dinah, right? When I was dating Dinah. And I had an accident. Which one is the independent clause? Which one makes sense on its own? The first one is independent. I had an accident dependent. when I was dating Dinah. Uh, All right, very good. So the last one, right? I had an accident. Uh, yes. Okay. So what's going on with the first sentence? So what's going on here? Is that is that independent? No, it's dependent. It's dependent. All right, it is dependent. Why is it dependent? For when? Okay, no. well, yeah, it is it's not complete because it's... the idea, right, is not complete, right? Let's think okay. about it like this, guys. Think about it like this, okay? So, you know, you see me, you see me walking down the street one day, you know, <coughs> and I say, I have my fingers are like this in real life, guys, you know. So anyways, okay, so you see me walking, you know, one day, right, and I say, what was it? Hold on. I say, you know, I say this, right, when, when I was dating yes. Dinah, right, when I was dating Dinah, and this is you, okay, this is, this is you, you know, 
walking, you what know, happened? all happy, kind of like dancing, right? When you're walking, right? And this is you, and you're like, right? Why, guys? I would you understand what I'm talking about, guys? If I said when I was dating Dana or Dinah, yeah. would you understand no. that? No. No. No, right. What happened with you? Understand. Exactly right. You would need to have more information, right? So if we still have a subject, right, and a verb, this it, we have more verbs here, right? Um, it's still this is still a clause, okay? But what is the what is the problem here? That I need more information, right? If you see me down, you know, if you if you see me walking down the street, and and I say, I say when I was dating Dana, you know, you wouldn't you will not understand what I'm talking about because more information yes. is needed. Okay, because more information will be needed. All right, so that's the reason why, guys. All right, I know the man who stole the watch. How many clauses do we have here? <coughs> two. We have two. Two clauses, right? For the first one is? Then I, the, I know the man. I know the man, right? Is that dependent or independent? Independent. It is independent, right? And then we have who stole the watch, right? Now, this is the topic, guys, that we're going to be focusing on from the platform. This right here. Is this a clause? Yes or no, guys? Yes. Yes. All right. The answer is yes. But why? Where is the subject? It's hidden. It's Hidden. Hi, hiding, hidden. 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 All right. Yeah, we can say that. We can say that, but not really. Okay. The reason why I say not really is because of this. Okay. This right here, guys. Words that are introduced by who or which or where. Okay, sentences like that that are not questions. Okay. These are called relative, check this out, pronouns, okay? How, how are they called, guys? Relative pronouns. Relative pronouns. So basically, guys, what are, what are some pronouns that you know? What are some pronouns that you know? Pronouns. What, what pronouns do you know? Um... That okay. Um, oh, she nice pronouns. All right, so I, you, he, she, it, right? Those are pronouns. Okay, now these are pronouns too, guys. Okay, these are pronouns okay. too. Okay, so oh, David, but why are they pronouns? That's why they're called relative pronouns, guys. Okay, one guy, you know, was born and said, I want this words to be pronounced and there you go no i'm kidding guys that there is a there is a, an explanation behind it okay all right so <coughs> okay so if we go back to my awful drawing all right think about it like this okay a pronoun let's say that we have the pronoun what pronoun do you want he he okay so we have the pronoun he Okay, now let's pretend that he, right? He is a person, right? So he is a person, okay, who is like very, very, very thin, for, by the way, right? All right, so he is a person, right? Now, there are, let's call them masks, okay? So we have a mask that says here, who, right? So we have uh, who, we have another mask that says which, but, well, actually, let's use the that, okay? You're gonna see why later, right? And we have another mask that says that, okay? Do you know what a mask is, guys? A mask? Hey. 
Oh, no. Very Mas good. Mas uh, mascaras, yeah. right? Mascaras, right? Very good. So, anyways, if I want to put a mask, you know, on this guy, okay, I can do that, right? Instead of he, he will become who. Got it? So, yes. why do we do that? Okay. For example, mm -hmm. this, okay. He, let me, let me have one of the examples, okay. I know, okay, so I can say I, I know him, right? Well, mm -hmm. I know, I know, I know the guy, right? Or I know the man. Instead of he guys, let's call this guy the man, okay? These guys right here, this will be the man, okay? Remember that the purpose of a of a of a pronoun, guys, is to substitute a noun, right? Los pronombres sustituyen a los sustantivos, okay? Mm -hmm. Right. So, if you know, I was not using. Got it, Maria Concepcion. Don't worry. Don't worry. Right. So, if I were using, guys, the 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 pronoun, right? I know the man, right? The man. Um, who stole the watch? Okay, I can I can perhaps you know use a comma here. Um, I, I you know I can perhaps use a, a comma there, right? <laughs> now, what is what's wrong with this sentence? Is is using the same. Um, the it's very good. so guys exactly right we're, it's very repetitive okay <laughs> so relative pronouns help with this problem okay okay so so this sentence right here right was suffering a very a very bad disease you know it was too repetitive and in, in this sentence said Benny sana mi dolor right and who came to, you know, Sanal Dolor? Right? Relative pronouns, okay? So we can say who. So instead of that man, guys, instead of that man, right, we can substitute this and say, what can we say? We can say who. Who stole the watch, okay? All right, and, and this right here, I, I should have written, that. okay, the man stole the watch. I know the man, the man stole the watch, right? This is, a, you know, technically it's a good sentence, right? I know the man, the man stole the watch, right? But it's very repetitive. So how do we solve that issue, right? With who, which is a relative pronoun, because pronouns mm -hmm. substitute what? Yes. The nouns. Okay. Yes. Nouns, okay, so the subject pronouns. Nouns. So pronouns substitute nouns, okay? Does that make sense now, guys? So yes. it is, it is, it is, okay? So it is a clause because who works as a pronoun, okay? Okay? So if who's, you know, you know if who works as a pronoun, then, you know, we can say it's a, it's a, it's a clause. Clear, guys? Clear as vodka, Petrov? Yes? Or clear as horchata? Horchata. <laughs> no? Hey, vodka, oh. Petrov is very clear, guys. Super clear, you know? It's like a water. Okay, clear as water without alcohol. Okay, very good. So, okay. So, so yes, guys. Okay. Now, do, now, now that you're clear that, um, now that you're clear on the definition of relative pronouns and relative clauses now this is called a relative clause okay the whole thing guys since it's a clause right this is called a relative clause okay <laughs> now why do we call them this is guys give me your own definition since now you know right why do we call them relative clauses
because they help us to do not repeat the same no all right all right very good i like that i like that but why are they called relative clauses <laughs> relative relative why do they have the called relative because it's about the the subject because For because For yeah. no, okay but that is okay so okay all right very good i like that i like that that makes it now is this a dependent clause yes right we know that it's a dependent clause it's a dependent clause that it's a relative clause okay so mm -hmm. if you if that is kind of confusing to you guys no worries okay i like to draw a lot <laughs> okay so <laughs> all right so so basically guys we have categories right we have dependent Right, we have why. Right. So first of all, we have in the hierarchy, we have clauses, right? So we have clauses. Within the clauses, we have two Teacher. types of tell me. And I think it's priority because uh, it gives you some information about the sentence or the clause. All right, that is also correct. I mean your answers are correct, but there is an easier way to remember why they're called relative, okay? Les quiero dar, guys, but quiero que entiendan así super fácil porque son llamadas relativas, okay? All right, but before we get there, there are two types of clauses in general, like big groups of clauses, right? We have we have uh, independent, and we know that we have dependent clauses, right? Now we know the definition for each of them, okay? So dependent. Now within the dependent clauses, guys, we have, <clears throat> within the dependent clauses, we have a category which is called relative. Okay? Relative clauses, right? Now, that's it. It's a dependent clause that is relative. But my question, again, guys, okay, nobody has told me so far why, how, or you know what? Let me change the question. How can you identify a relative clause? What gives it away? Why would you say that this right here is a relative uh, plus? Is the word that uh, makes sense? No, mm, no, guys. No. no, guys. How do we call this? It's relative. No. How, how do how do yeah? How, how do you call it? Pronounce. Relative. No. Relative uh, pronoun. pronouns. Very good. Okay, that is a relative pronoun. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you again. How do you identify a relative clause? Or a pronoun? Exactly. <laughs> okay, because they will be preceded by a relative pronoun. Okay, if you see who stole the watch, right, like this. All right, that is a relative pronoun. Which was too expensive? That is a relative pronoun, right? So this is a relative clause. Si tiene un relative pronoun, guys, it's a relative clause. Got it? Okay. Simple as yes. that. All right. Um, that he cannot do it. Is this a relative a relative clause? Uh, yes. 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 It's yes. like who? <laughs> exactly. Okay. Where he was born. Is this a relative clause? Yes. Yes. Where? All right. Now, this one, is this a relative clause? No. No. All right. That is a conditional. All right. Um, is this a relative clause? No. No. Okay. So, basically, guys, for this to, to, for this to be a relative pronoun, it needs to substitute a noun. Okay. All right. But yeah, anyways, or you can just memorize them, guys. Who, which, that, where, when. Where? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right. Very good, guys. So we have a list over here of relative pronouns. All right. Let us, as such, see? Who? Repeat, guys. Who? 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 Which? 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 which. Who's? Who's? Whom? 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 That. 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 All right. 
So these are the relative pronouns. And if you notice, if you take a look at the examples, I don't know if you are going to be able to take a look at the examples because it's very small. The woman who called yesterday wants to buy the house, right? What is who substituting? Who substituye la palabra who? Sí. Who? Who, guys? Who substitutes the? The, the woman. woman. The Very good, right? Yeah. Very good. Did you see the letter which came today? Uh, what is that substituting? The, the letter. The letter. The letter. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, the letter. Very good job. Uh, he is a man whose opi opinion I respect. What is who's substituting here? He's a man whose opinion I respect. A man. A man, okay, all right. Very good, very good, right? Okay, guys, so if you notice, guys, they always substitute a noun, right? And that's what turns them into, you know, pronouns, okay? Now, a relative clause is basically, guys, what I just explained, right? It's a clause that is that starts with, um, with the relative pronoun, okay? So we have, it's just, this, this right here, guys, is just examples that I sent you, okay? If you want, guys, I'll send these slides to the group. Would you like that? Yes, thank you. All right, yes, please. I'll send them to the group. <laughs> I'll send them to the group and after the class, okay? So you can you can see them, all right? So take a look at this, right? That That's the man, sorry. That's the man who or that offered me the job, okay? What is who or that substituting? The man. The man. The man. All right, notice that who or that can be used for people, okay? Who and that, guys, can be used for people. You can say who or you can say that, and it is the same thing. It's like, in Spanish, it's the same, guys, right? You can yeah. say, right? You can say, él es el hombre, que te ayudó, right? Or tal vez no, right? Te dejo con los niños, say, right? I don't know. Anyways, right? You can say, so él es el hombre que te ayudó. Ese que, right? Is the relative pronoun. Or you can say, él es el hombre quien te ayudó. Yes or no, guys? Can we say quien in, English, in Spanish? To, to mm -hmm. refer to that man? Yes, right? Yes, yes. All right, very good. My mother's older brother, who lives in New York, is coming to visit, right? So who is... Who or that is replacing my mother's older brother, right? Uh, that's the house which or that they lived all their lives in, for example. Which and that, guys, can be used for objects, okay? It, these cannot be used. I mean, which cannot be used for... Well, it actually, it actually, in some, um, some examples, you know, that can be used for people, right? But, but anyways, which and that, guys... Right, can be used for objects, okay? Who cannot be used for objects, okay? So we see more explanation here, right? Mm -hmm. Now, before we get into noun phrases containing relative clauses, right? Um, we, let's take a look at the platform, right? Vamos a la plátano forma. Anyway, so, it's platform, guys, by the way, not platform. All right, so let's go over here. All right. So if you notice, guys, that platform will have what what I just explained, right? Really pronounced as, ob as, as uh, subjects, okay? So in the first example over here, all right? Um, now you should be able to understand this. I like the guys. They aren't too serious, right? So now, guys, do you understand? Can you tell me where, here, guys, can you tell me where the relative pronoun is? Who? Who? Who are that, right? Yes. Very good. Now, can you tell me why they are called relative pronouns here? All right, they're substituting the noun. And what is the noun that they're, that they're substituting? They. They're substituting guys, right? 
They're um, substituting guys, right? I prefer someone. We have two ideas, right? Two ideas. I prefer someone I can talk to him easily, right? I prefer someone who or that I can talk to easily, right? So how many clauses do we have here? Two. We have two clauses, right? Well, where is the relative clause? Who and that. Right. Why is that called a relative clause? Because they are substituting. <laughs> no, no, that's that's a relative pronoun. Why is it called a relative clause? Because it starts with clause. Because it starts with a relative pronoun, okay? Relative pronoun. Si inicia con a relative pronoun es un relative clause, all right? Got it? All right, that's the definition, okay? Now, ahorita, ahorita, guys, les debería ser super fácil entender todos estos ejercicios. Así super, super fácil. You should know the difference. You should know the reason why they're called relative clauses. Uh, ahorita ya saben que son cláusulas, que son cláusulas relativas, que son cláusulas dependientes, independientes. Got it? You should know all of that by now, right? If, and if you don't, it's okay. You can ask me questions, right? So let's go over some of the exercises. Would you like me to go over the exercises? Yes, please. Of course, right? <laughs> I have a question. Tell me, tell me. Um, the, this exercise is the same in the platform? Yeah, the, these are the it's exercises the from the platform. Yes. Oh, okay, thank you. Yes. All thank right, you. so let's go over the first. Now, we're going we're gonna to talk about this tomorrow, That's right? True. But okay. let's go over the first exercise, right? So it says, I don't want to have a partner, right? So why should, why should I choose here? It says, select the best clause that matches the statement, right? So we need to select a clause here. I don't want to have a partner. These people are organized one. and intelligent. I have nothing. I have so nothing. I have nothing in common in with common. this person. Okay, right, let's try that. I'd like to meet people. What about that? These people have a good sense of humor. All right. Mm, I like to meet people. These people have... A good sense. These people have a good sense of humor, right? I prefer... I prefer a roommate. This person is quiet and considerate. <laughs> this person is quiet and considerate, right? All right. Um, I don't like to be with people. I don't feel comfortable around these people. I don't feel comfortable around these, these people, right? I want to discuss my problems with friends. These people are warm and sensitive. These people are warm and warm and sensitive. Warm, okay. I'd rather have a boss. This person has good leadership qualifies. Qualities. 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 All right. I prefer to have teachers. These people are organized and organized. intelligent. Organized. Organized and intelligent. All right. These people are organized and intelligent, right? So let's go to MBR. There you go. 15 out of 15 points. Good job. Now, it says rewrite the following statements using who or that to make the sentence. Okay, so we're going to use the relative pronoun, who or that. So I'd like to meet people. Who have a good sense. All right. I'm going to, Giselle, you are awesome. Yes. You're awesome. <laughs> Sorry. I Sorry. Want, no, that, that's okay. I'm going to ask more people because I want everybody to, uh, you need to participate, guys, okay? But thank you very much, Giselle. I'll... You can continue participating, but let me just have somebody else answering this, this question. So what is the answer here, guys? Um, I'd like to meet people who have a good sense of humor. I'd like to meet people who have a good sense of humor. Now, could I use guys that have a good sense of humor instead of who? Yes. Yes, I could. I could, right? 
So what is the answer for number two? I don't like to be with people Raise who have up. nothing in common with Raise this person. I don't person. like to be with people who have nothing in common with this person, right? Very good, guys. I think my typing skills have improved a little bit. All right, so let's see. Oh, okay. But by the way, guys, there's something that I'd like to mention. Be careful with the platform, all right? If you notice, this right here is an apostrophe, okay? But I have a, I have an English keyboard, so it's easy to detect. I don't know if, well, you cannot see it, right? But anyways, it's an English keyboard, right? So I have the apostrophe very easily located. But in the Spanish keyboard, they don't have this character like that. You have to input something else, okay? So if it gives you an error, because you insert a, you inserted a, a quotation mark instead of a of a of a instead of an apostrophe, please copy and paste the apostrophe from somewhere somewhere else. Okay, I'm gonna say this in Spanish because it's very important. Si la plataforma te da un error, y vos decís, hey, pero lo puse igual que el teacher. Pero eso, guys, esto es un apostrofe. Hay otra que es una comilla. En, en el teclado español sale una comilla como um, well, la de acentos. Exactly, right? Si le pones esa, no te va a funcionar, no te va a dar resultado. Tiene que ser un apóstrofe. Si no sabes cómo poner un apóstrofe con un español, en un teclado español, dale copy paste de otro lado. Pone una, no sé, de Google, hay un montón de apóstrofes, right? Copiar, la pones o pones al ciento, no sé qué diablos, ¿ok? Got it? And that'll give you, that'll give you all the apostrophe, ¿ok? So just just if I so I don't like to be with people who have nothing in common with this person. Now, is there anything wrong with this with this sentence, guys? What do you think? Is there anything wrong with the sentence? Yes or no? <laughs> my my dog. Is what? the first sentence say this, the first cause uh, to the person, the people? I mean, the second cause is mean person. I don't know if they're wrong. All right, guys, first of all, this sentence does not have anything wrong, okay? I don't like to be with people who have nothing in common, right? Who have nothing. Now, why, now, the only thing, guys, is why would we say, I don't like to be with people, I have nothing in common with this person, right? Who have nothing in common with, which person, guys, which person is he re referring to? With me? With me, right? It's talking about me. Let's see. It's still wrong. I don't like to be with people who have nothing in common with me. Now, everything, guys, everything here, the sentence is, is correct, okay? Esta oración, el relative plus and everything, está correcto, right? But the, the platform wants something else. So who's got this answer, guys? Who's, who's got this answer? <coughs> what do you think? ¿Quién tiene esta? Uh, another very important thing to remember, guys, a veces le ponen extra, un espacio extra aquí, eso a veces le va a salir mal, okay? So be careful not to leave any gaps in between. All right, guys, so the platform wants you to give this answer. I don't like to be with people who I have nothing in common with, All right? Pongan esta respuesta, guys. Right? Not that the, the previous answer was wrong, but the platform wants this answer. Okay, so I don't like to be with people who I have nothing who I have nothing in common with. Okay. <laughs> now, quien puso who have nothing in common with me, guys, that is actually a better answer. Okay. Esa respuesta quien puso I, who I have nothing in common who have nothing in common with me eso guys es una respuesta aún mejor 
that is more that is clearer than this 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 answer okay but yes guys so if you got this wrong guys okay just put it like this it doesn't mean that your answer wasn't correct it's just that the platform wants it this way okay got it yes all right okay all right so um let's see all right we're gonna go over this ones um tomorrow okay so um that's it guys you know that's it so did we learn anything new today well tonight yes yes, right. yes right. thank you very good very good right so thank you very much for joining early today join early tomorrow guys continue working on the platform remember we're gonna so this is how we're gonna see the 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 progress this is how we're gonna be solving the exercises from the platform as we progress through through the course okay so just keep that in mind thank you very much guys enjoy thank you your goodbye after your good night evening. thank you good night good yeah good night you guys